So I'm at the Alaska Lounge at Portland Airport, and what a nightmare. I walk up, and there's a sign that they're not doing day passes because they're just at capacity, and I called customer service, and they didn't say anything like that because I wanted to be super sure I could get in or I wouldn't have come to the airport this early for my 11 p.m. flight. So anyway, I walk in, I, well, I see that, I walk in, the lady is so nice. I think she could just see all the, the wrinkles and bags on my eyes. And she was so nice and she said, okay, you know, that's fine, come on in. So I paid my $60. I will say it's one of the smallest airport lounges I've ever seen. Just, you know what, it's, it's, it is what it is because they just probably don't have as many people. But um, that Fly Alaska versus Delta and United, which I usually go to those lounges, when I qualified to get in those lounges, and I would have paid for Delta, but Delta doesn't let anybody in unless they're a reserve card um, or the Platinum, and then you have to pay 39 which that wasn't a big deal. But all those have like fees, and I don't fly Delta that much where it warrants that. I do have a Delta like, silver or something, which I don't even know why I have that anymore. I paid for that, but I guess you get um, like a free bag and a free bag and you get, oh, like kind of priority boarding. So anyway, um, so anyway, so I was just like needing a place that would let somebody come in that doesn't have the status or isn't flying that airline that day, you know, that type of thing. And so luckily, Alaska lets people in for $60. And, okay, I'm going to turn this around. So there's the bar. This is my clone chowder. I don't want to point this at people because there's not that many. I don't want people to think that it's really small. Here's the food. So you get clone chowder. A Mediterranean bowl. There you go. You get stuff for salad. And you get some dessert. And then you have that. Lots of coffee. And then soda. So pretty much that's it. Okay, and as I sit here at the table, there's nowhere for me to actually sleep because I cannot sleep at a table like this. And think about it, it's six, it's 6.49, which doesn't seem late, but I'm still on East Coast time, so it's basically 9.49. And my plane here doesn't board until 10.30 p.m., which is essentially 1.30 p.m., 1.30 a.m., my time. So, I really need to get, I really need to get a chair here that I can actually, if not recline in, actually have the ability to semi-sleep until my alarm goes off. And I have to go through security because I'm in Concourse C and Delta flies out of D, so I have to go through security again which is no big deal because some, some airports won't even let you transfer between concourses because your flight is somewhere on another one, but this one does, so I don't care about that. Um, anyway, my sinuses are still acting up. So I guess I could uh, edit my videos while I'm waiting, while I'm still being forced to wake. I'll probably wash my face take off my makeup, who cares, uh, before I get on the plane. But anyway, here for $60, that's what I got. But again, like I said, they're really nice people.